Hey, 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 Libra. This is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your reading. So, let's see what's going on for my Libras. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, link is in the description. Please use that link as there are many tarot card impersonators running it on luck. And know that you'll always see my face in a reading and receive an unlisted link that you can use forever. Don't forget to comment down below, guys. I want to hear from you guys. Let me know if this resonates and hit that notification bell. All right, Libra. Ooh. There you are. Okay, so you have Judgment. You have the Princess of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles. The Six of Wands. Oh, sorry, the Four of Wands. And the King of Swords. Huh. I'm hearing clarity. You're gaining some sort of clarity in a situation here, Libra. Ooh, let me see. Ooh, Three of Swords. Okay. So this has to do with a heartbreak. Some sort of heartbreak. Something that's ending. It could be a marriage here. This, there could be some sort of truth coming out. Coming to the surface here. Four of Wands, King of Swords. Alright, let's get another one. Princess of Wands. Yeah, so you're starting new. Princess of Wands, Prince, Princess of Pentacles. That's what I'm feeling here. Okay, they just said a family affair. The Empress. Okay, and standing your ground. So Libra, you're, you're going to be standing your ground in a situation. It could have to do with this ending of this um, marriage here. Could be just a long-term commitment. That's possible. Okay, but you're seeing something clearly. Some sort of truth is emerging. Slowly but surely. Tell me about the Princess of Pentacles. Five of Cups. You're turning things around. I feel like there was sadness related, or there is sadness related to this um, ending, this breakup here. Um, you know, remorse and just sort of pining over the past, you know. But you're trying to see the opportunity that's within this ending here. Tell me about the Five of Cups, Princess of Pentacles. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune. That's why you're turning things around. I feel like your destiny, that's that's what you're feeling. This is why this is turning around with the Five of Cups and Princes of Pentacles. It's because your destiny is emerging here. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. Queen of Cups. Wow. Okay. Mm. Okay. Your intuition is coming online, they're saying. Okay. Your creative pursuits. So I feel like you really need to connect with your creativity because there's something within that creative um, space that has the capability to expand. And as they expand, so does your heart here. Six of Cups. Oh, you may be running into a soulmate after this. It's like you're going from feeling left out in the cold, right? Lonely. To Six of Cups, soulmate. Make sure that you open your eyes, though, because the Two of Swords... You've got to keep an open heart here in order to see this soulmate. It could be somebody from the past, somebody from childhood. Eight of Wands, yeah. So you guys are going to have a lot of passion together. This could be somebody at a distance. That's possible. But again, it's only if you see them. you got to make sure when you're in this Two of Swords energy, try to shift that energy through your creative pursuits. Through your intuition, connecting with your heart space, that will shift you out of it. Because when you're in it, it's blocking your heart 
which blocks your eyes. It's like it blocks everything so you can't you can't sense the soulmate when they arrive. And if your heart's not open, neither can they. It's almost like this veil is up with the two of swords. Six of swords. Yeah, so some of you could be moving here. You're moving on, but you're going to a more peaceful place. Like I said, you're moving to your destiny. And you can feel it. That's the thing. Look at this. Nine of Pentacles. Oh my gosh, what a journey. Libra, this is beautiful. It's, it's an intricate journey here, but very rewarding. I feel like there's a lot of lessons here that you're going to learn. I feel like your creativity will emerge. Your intuition is expanding. And you're setting sail on your destiny. Your destined path here. Let me get some Kipper. Interesting. Libra. You're standing strong in the end. Okay, you're you're learning a lot about yourself here. You can tell me about the situation for Libra. Libra. Main female. Ooh, thief. Be careful if something's ending. Gift. Ooh, you may be getting a gift, but be careful that there could be somebody conniving around you. Poverty. Yeah, it could be somebody lacking. It could have to do with this ending. Why is the thief here? Wealthy man. Oh, I feel like this wealthy man is this, could be a wealthy woman, okay, but I feel like, be careful, there's like a thief between you, and I feel like what I'm feeling is like a frenemy not really sure who's connected to it. I lean more towards this wealthy man that it's connected to. Okay, so like this could be an ex of this wealthy man I'm feeling. Of something, trying to do something shady here. Just be careful when you come into contact with this wealthy man. Great fortune. So you've got a lot of abundance coming towards you. Okay? You've just got to make sure that you're following your heart, following, you know, your destiny here and getting out of spaces within you that lean you toward grief or sorrow, or at least don't stay in there too long. I mean, feel and process the emotions, but shift afterwards, right? So your heart can be open. So your eyes can be open here. Okay. So we're going to get... Advice cards here. Find your center. Your outside world is a reflection and a manifestation of what's going on inside you at this time. When the outside world becomes so hectic and stressful that your anxiety starts to overwhelm you, then this is an ideal moment to stop and ask, when was the last time I checked in with myself? And that's what I'm saying. That's what's you know prevalent in this reading is that check in with yourself and how you're feeling right because then your awareness can shift if need be right because sometimes we you know it's okay to process the emotions to be in sadness and and whatnot but sometimes we get carried away and we just get lost in it and it, and it keeps going on and progresses and gets bigger so make sure that you're checking in with yourself libra along the way so you can become aware and shift. Take a moment. Stop. Now is not the time to rush into the decision you're about to make. Before this important decision is made, take a moment to pause and quiet your mind so that you can ask your soul for guidance before you're, you act or move forward. So if you've got a decision coming up, Spirit's wanting you to stop. 
and listen to your heart. Okay, really connect to the self. And you will lead yourself. Okay, so let's get a number. 88. I love it. That's abundance. I am wealthy. You are on the cusp of a prosperous and abundant spiritual life. You will find numerous opportunities for success and achievement, all of which bring financial and material abundance into your life. I told you. This is leading to someplace great, right? It is a journey. It is challenging, but you know, it'd be boring if we had everything we wanted already, right? All right, Libra, I hope this resonates. I hope it makes sense. Please drop a like below. Share and subscribe if you already have it, if you're interested in a personal reading. That way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Info is down in the description box below. Make sure you're using that link as there are many tarot card impersonators running amok these days. And know that you will also see my face in a reading and get an unlisted link to your reading that you can utilize forever and ever. And also, don't forget to comment. Let me know if this resonates. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. Have a wonderful day and I'll catch you on the flip side on the dailies. Namaste.